Tony here. Today we're making a clam sauce and a mussel butter and wine sauce. And this is all our fresh ingredients. We're using Little Neck clams. I went this morning to the fish department in Dejetra and these are from uh, up in Maine and we have some beautiful black mussels as a matter of fact, the product of Canada. Beautiful, look, nice and clean. From here, after this step, we are gonna soak them in ice cold water. This way they could spit out any sand or, you know, roughage that they have inside them. And then we're gonna prep them because they're gonna think they're gonna go for a swim in the ocean, but they don't know they're going for a swim in the pot so we can eat them. Now look how nice cold water, right? Look how nice and clean these are. Beautiful. They spit out everything they had to spit out. You see the dirt in the water? That's everything they had to spit out. And why it's all gone is because they think they're going for a swim in the water. They don't know they're going for a swim in the hot water. This is 10 pound uh, bag of mussels. Which is really nothing. Full shell. Look. Beautiful. So after you soak in the clam, see that water gets nice and gray, because that's all the sand and all the stuff that they're spitting out. If you could see it, which you probably can, but I see it. Now we're actually going to add fresh cold water because we're going to make our own clam stock. See how beautiful that clam is? Look, white. This is the prep stage. We clean the garlic. We're going to cut the parsley. And then we're going to put in the food processor. Ah, look how beautiful our clam stock is doing. Look at them, they're opening up. See, they thought they were going for a swim in the ocean. <laughs> this is even more delicious in the summertime because we grow our own parsley. Ah. Ah. For safety precautions, you can't put it on without this thing. Go figure. Put our garlic. I'd say about three heads. We're gonna throw a nice handful of this on there. A little salt. Olive oil. Little vino. Get them drunk. I'd say a half a pound. And a little bit. in the dark for the good old muscles that are going to be drunk. Ah, telephone. Who could be calling my mother right now? Our clam stock is doing just lovely. Fuck. So we're ready to prepare the clams uh, mixture 
Okay, we're gonna do a little prep for our clam sauce. We're gonna fill our pan with olive oil. Remember, clam sauce needs a lot of olive oil. And this Le Creuset pot, or this type of cast iron with a coating pot, makes a really good clam sauce. And this pot, I would never buy it anyway because it's $500. I only bought it because Costco gave them to me. They had like 10 left. They got them for me for $40 each. So I bought like all of them. Every one of them. $40 each to Costco. And ever since then, they don't sell them no more. You Go got, figure. You got something on your lip. Probably parsley. <laughs> Thank you. I love parsley. Parsley is very good for your belly. Now we're going to strain our clam stock. Cheesecloth, paper towel. You need to use a very thin strainer so you get the sand. So you know there's going to be plenty of sand. And I'll show you in the end. Ah. Right through, see? See how clean? It's got a lot of sand in there. But when you soak it, see how it spits out all the sand? We already got rid of the sand. That's just a little bit that was left. And I'm going to show you how beautifully clear our stock is, watch. I say we have a cup of olive oil. Good extra virgin olive oil, that is. Cola Vita! Eva! Oh, I gotta call my shoe chef. Oh, Mr. Tony, come over here. Hi. Hi, I'm, just, I'm Uncle Tony's shoe chef. How are you, good? I'm going to take the clams out of the shelf now. Thank you. While the oil is getting hot, I might as well. Ready? Oh my God! Look who arrived! Some shoe chefs! Ah, they're all hiding behind Uncle Tony, imagine? Mm. They're gonna take the rest of the clams out of the shelves. And now when my sister-in-law, Kathy, She's gonna eat them, and then we're gonna yell at her. How hot this oil is right now? I like searing the parsley and the garlic. Ready? You're gonna hear it. Look. And then I add the stock. Look how beautiful that stock is, mama mia. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here it is, the salty poo. I would say that's a tablespoon. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. Some fresh ground pepper. These electric pepper mills are the best thing that ever happened. We're gonna move this around. Look how beautiful. Look. See how nice and clear our stock is still? Mama mia. Now with all the extra clam stock, we're gonna jar it. Look at that color of that hat. What do you say, Noah? That's a beautiful color. I have a triple It's cut mafaldi. It's mafaldi in half. Boiling. The boiling. We're gonna put all those clams in there. 150 clams. I don't like to cut them. I like them whole. To me, it makes a better taste. You ready to see smoke? Give it a few more minutes. This is their last stop. Loving. You need nobody loving. You ain't a lover. Nice. 
We're gonna make three pounds of pasta. I think it'd be enough. Salty Walty! I know you think it's a lot, but it's not. Trust me when I tell you. Ah, get bella. Look at those clams, how beautiful. I smell muscles. I told you I smelled muscles. I told you I smelled it. Of course, that pasta's ready. We're gonna do that too. My nieces love when I act silly. I don't know why. They just love it. So if they love it, I believe the world loves it. Cause they don't lie. Look at that pasta, mama mia. And this concludes our clams and macaroni and our butter wine sauce mussels. Please tune in, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and everywhere else, and we'll be looking forward to seeing you soon. Bon appetito! Yeah. What? You want me to do a little slurpee? <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems